Luke and Jake here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we're doing another axe restoration video. Now, if you've noticed behind me, we've done a few of these videos in the past and I have a handful of axe heads that I've been meaning to restore for years, but they're really nice ones. And so I've kind of been saving them waiting to get a little bit more experience, a little bit more practice, because I really wanted to do them right. But I think I'm ready to jump into one of those projects. So today, we're going to be restoring one of my favorite bearded axes. There we go, check this out. This is the bearded axe I want to restore this week. I got it from a guy in Eastern Europe. Nice, clean lines. There's a lot of different ways to restore an ax, but basically what I need to do is remove the rust, get rid of the nicks and the dings, and I've used a lot of different techniques in my videos. The navel jelly, a vapor rust, electrolysis, Coca-Cola vinegar, wire brushes, angle grinders, sandpaper. We're gonna use a mixture of techniques today. These $10 magnets from Harbor Freight really are useful for these types of projects. Not just holding your work, but also cleaning up. Well, I've got about four or five hours into this project. I think I need a little dinner break. If you want to see how I make this griddle and how to make some killer cheesesteak sandwiches, uh, check out that video and I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> you like that, babe? It's deliciously messy. Well, it's another day and we've got ourselves one shiny, nice looking ax head. Now, making it all polished like this isn't just for looks, it helps protect it from rust. The more polished a metal surface is, the more impervious it is to rust and corrosion. All right, so we got two ax heads. One's rusty and one's shiny. The rusty one, you can see here, when it gets exposed to water, it becomes actually wet. The water gets absorbed into all the little pits and grooves. When the shiny one gets wet, the water just beads off it really easy. It dries out much faster, which means it's exposed to water for less time. Mirror polishing the steel is a great way to protect it from corrosion, but I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna blue the steel. This is the same process we use for protecting gun parts. It's gonna turn it a darker black color and put this impervious, non-corrosive surface all over the steel. It's gonna make it look pretty slick as well. And I'm gonna use a chemical process to do that. Okay, step one, I'm gonna apply some of this rust remover and degreaser, and I'm gonna apply it to the inside of the eye here, cause this, this is a little bit of rust here. It's kind of nice though, it's turning black, but not like this even black. It kind of this, 
this uh, antique looking black. All right, that looks pretty sick. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Well, while that perma blue on the axe head is curing, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the axe handle. And I've got this piece of laminated zebra wood here, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, my friend Matt helped me laminate this a while back since I don't have the equipment for this. And uh, I'm excited, this is gonna, this is gonna be special. Well, we're getting close, but I gotta stop for dinner and I will pick this up a little bit later. Well, it's day three of this project. I just got home from work and it's a balmy 100 degrees outside. So I'm getting ready to get started and there's a thunderstorm coming. So I've gotta take my setup here, get it in the garage if we're gonna get any work done today. You ready, Jacob? I got the axe head fitted on, now I just need to finish out the handle. Looks like Mother Nature's gonna give me a little bit of a fireworks show while I do it too. Well, that doesn't look too bad, but it's time now to do a lot of sanding. Well, it's been an hour and a half of sanding with the 120 grit. Time to repeat the process with like some 600 grit, 1200 grit, 2000 grit, maybe some 3000 grit. Let's do it! This is smooth. Yeah, it's all smooth. We're coating everything in lots and lots of linseed oil. The fun thing about boiled linseed oil is it acts as a lubricant when it's fresh, but when it dries, it gets sticky. So it helps get the ax head on when it's fresh, it's a lubricant, but then after a few days when it dries out, it gets sticky and keeps that head in place, keeps the wedge from coming out. This is the part that makes me the most nervous. If I hit this wedge wrong and break it off, it can cause me all sorts of problems. Nice and even. 
See if it goes down any further. Alright, got a little wedge here. One thing nice about using these exotic woods is they're very dried and aged, so they don't shrink at all. As a matter of fact, when you add all the oil and stuff, they tend to expand a little bit and get a little bit tighter with time. So uh, hopefully this will stay on for a nice long time. Should we make a sheath so we don't cut ourselves? Yeah. It's not you. I cannot see. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I need to Alright, let's see. See if I did it right. You did it right. Uh, let's put it on, see how it goes. There we go, got the sheath all dyed and coated in beeswax, and the beeswax kind of soaks in and helps make it water repellent. So if it gets snowed or rained on, it won't uh, rot as easily. What do you think, Nathan? Pretty? Yeah. Let's watch your fingers. Look at that. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'll keep that thing around for a long time. Well, I can't do an axe restoration video and not do some chop it, so let's give it a go and see what happens. Ooh. Are you going to chop it in Look at that. Daddy. You don't want me to chop it up? Yeah, I don't want to chop it in half. Okay. Wait, wait, Nathan, you don't want me to chop that up? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave it alone. 
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. If you wanna see more axe restoration and tool restoration videos, check our playlist down in the video description and don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning and hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.